Hi, I'm Joe Buchanan, Technical Solutions Architect with Cisco Security, and welcome to the Network is an Enhanced Sensor tutorial series. Today, we're going to talk about historical traffic analysis to help you identify threats from suspect countries. Threats are hiding in legitimate traffic through common web browsing or through ports and applications that are trusted within the firewall rules. One way to identify these threats is to account for all network traffic entering and leaving the organization to the internet. Let's generate some traffic from a live system just so you can understand how this works. To validate, I'm going to see what IP address I'm logging in from. 198.19.30.36. So in just a minute, I'm going to run a query in StealthWatch to see where all this traffic is going. Let's use a Tor browser to generate traffic through random countries. If you're not sure what Tor is, let's actually query that as soon as we log into it. What I want to see is just what is Tor, and this is going to generate some additional random traffic. Tor is basically an anonymous network that bad actors use a lot to help hide their tracks as they're breaking into organizations, and uh, individuals can use it sometimes when they don't want to be tracked on what type of internet browsing that they're doing. So let's log into StealthWatch and do a query on this workstation, which was 198.19.30.36, hit enter and a quick snapshot if any threats are associated with this host. And we'll get more into the threats later. For now, let's just look at this host specifically and see what the traffic patterns look like. On the left, we'll get views as far as the last time and the first time that we've seen this host active. We'll see things like MAC addresses and if it's connected with ICE for, um, for mitigation. In the middle, this is what we wanna focus on right now and it's showing any traffic to other internal hosts inside the organization and then traffic to external hosts. For now, we just wanna do a flow query. Specifically, I wanna look for all of the top peers that this host is connected to out on the internet, excluding the country that we do business in. So let me, let me look over the last 11 hours. If I wanted to name this query, I can give it a name here. And on the peer, I specifically wanna look outside the organization, but I also wanna exclude the country we're doing business in, which is currently Americas. And I'm going to include other for now on this on this query. So last eight hours, show me where all of this traffic flow is going to by this workstation that we were logged into. Now let's broaden the search. I'm going to go to Analyze Flow Search, and I'm going to look for traffic from all of my user segment to countries we don't do business with over a longer period of time. Now to kick it off, I've already this is a common search that I run, so I'm going to go to Saved Searches. and hit top internal peers to non-business countries by flows. And if you're building this from scratch, you would do analyze flow search. You would select top peers. I want to look outside the organization, excluding Americas, to the 10201 slash 24 which is a user segment. Now I want to look over the last seven days. And as I go down to the bottom, I want to order this by flow count. So in the last seven days, who is the top peer inside this user segment that's been connected to by countries that we don't do business with? So simply hit search. I can see that 10.201.3.5 and 10.201.3.15, which are out of the end user segments, have been connected to the most by flow count from countries we don't do business with. Now the benefit of looking at this from a flows perspective is this could help catch command and control like traffic because sometimes it's not the volume of traffic that's transferred. It's just that constant connection back into the organization. So let's look a little bit deeper. I'm gonna click into these 876 flows and get more details. All right, the results are nearly back, 100% complete. Now to show you how you can filter through this, if I only wanted to look at flows greater than, greater than 2K and specifically is on port 80, plug that into the query, and maybe I want to get even more specific on any flows that started with uh, the first octet 212. Now inside here, I can scroll over, get more details, expand the dropdown, and see additional things like packets that were sent by the client versus the server, uh, even URL information that can be collected in StealthWatch in a, in a few different ways. So let's look a little further to see if there's any detections around 10.201.3.15. I'm going to click into the IP address and I'll bring back a snapshot from that host perspective, showing me a visual of all the flows going to internet hosts, um, going down to top security events, 
I can see an event that was detected called suspect quiet long flow over port 443, which is an encrypted channel, and it's showing the host that it's connected to. The suspect quiet long flow is to help catch command and control like traffic where it's long connections to internet host that's just trying to keep a connection back into internal systems. I'm going to reuse this top internal peers to non-business countries, but I'm going to edit this first. So in the query, we're just going to change it slightly. Instead of looking at the number of connections over time, we're going to look over the number of bytes that were transferred over time. Still seven days, still same query, but I'm going to exclude America. So I'm going to see uh, large data transfers in general from the user subnet. But down on the bottom, I want to do order by bytes. So now let's execute this query. All right, so the results have come back. And similar, I see a couple hosts, 10201341 and 10201349, coming in from the end user subnet. And you can see large byte counts that have been transferred over the last seven days. But let's go ahead and take a look at this 10201349. Click into the IP address. Similar, it's going to give you all the current traffic flow. But on the right hand side, it's going to tell you things like suspect data loss. So keeping track of payload information that's going from in the organization to out of the organization, StealthWatch will help detect these threats. Scrolling down, you get additional details of who's logged in. So I can see Ken was the person logged into this machine. I could see that large SSH transfer that was occurring inside the organization. And I can see a large HTTPS connection leaving the organization. To learn more, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you'd like to get hands-on experience, you can go to cs.co stealthwatch td to sign up for a hands-on test drive. To learn more about Stealthwatch, go to cisco.com go stealthwatch. Thank you.